Yeah. Hi, folks. Munson and Bob here. This is It the Juice. Hey, time for us to have a little discussion, a little talk. Well, hey, this is It the Juice. It's a product that I brought to the market. Uh, and I'm a marketer. I've had other products in the past, and I brought this product to the market to uh, put, a, put light on juicing uh, signs in general. Juicing signs in general is not a very typical or a very uh, wise practice, but you know, when you get a door knock sign out of a barn or something, you drag it home on a Saturday afternoon, you hit it with some WD 40, wash it a little bit, hit it with some WD 40, let it sit in the sun, and get to enjoy the sign that you bought. Um, but juicing now has come to uh, a new uh, phase, is a lot of people are selling online signs online. And to juice a sign before you sell it, Online is not a good practice. That's really looked down upon as it should be. Um, to juice up a sign and then hold it up during your auction or when you're selling it online and claim that it has day one gloss is about the lowest thing you can do to a buyer. Because when the buyer gets that sign, it's going to go to them. It's going to be all greasy when they get it for one thing. And then uh, they hang it on their wall in their barn or their garage or their car collection. Um, and it, or who knows, their living room, like me. Um, that sign, the damage that you hid with the juice, the juice just slicks it up. Using liquid gold and WD-40 and mineral oil, it slicks up the surface. It makes that hazing blend in so you start to see the color come through. It's a temporary thing. It makes it look better, but it's going to evaporate away in the matter of uh, within a month. All the damage that you just slicked up and covered, that comes back. And to sell a guy a sign uh, under the pretense it has day one gloss, day one color, and then he gets it, and a month later it's the piece of shit you started with. Um, and you're deceiving them by covering up that damage and then uh, selling it as something that it's not. Okay. My product, this was brought to the market for a reason. In the market, in the, in the uh, marketing world, um, one of the first things, Marketing 101, you identify the problem and then you solve the problem. That's the combat. That's a winning combination to bringing a product to market that sells through that's successful. A lot of times, guys will make some kind of fake problem and then because they have what they want to sell, and now that never works. So I identified juicing signs as a problem, especially now with the internet where we're selling signs through cameras. Uh, it's a real problem. So. The product that I brought to market that I developed over three years is a product that's going to do all things that we want to do with juicing that are impossible. And that's the product that we have. I identified the problem, and the problem I identified for our product, my product, is vin juicing vintage signs. All right? Well, we've identified that. That's a problem because it's a greasy, false shine. You get it all slicked up, and it looks shiny. And that's just going to be a greasy mess, and it's going to evaporate away, and it's going to, and you do cover up with the juices, the typical crap. That does hide and cover up fading, and it makes it look good temporarily. Now that fading comes, uh, disappears, it evaporates, and a person's left with a sign that they would have never bought. Now, with this is it, the juice, that's not a mistake by me naming my product the juice. When you reach, when, you, when you're tempted to reach for something to juice the sign, you want to reach for this is it to juice. Because if you're going to juice the sign, that's the stuff you want to use. This is it. The juice is taking and replacing this ain't it, that bullshit of juicing. Okay, so now what our product does, we'll get into that in a minute. Next. What our product does is we're going to show you on signs that have been done. I did this sign two years ago. Okay, now what we do with the sign is a one-time application of this is it, the juice that doesn't leave a greasy residue, that doesn't evaporate away. It's a permanent one-time application. And what we're doing with this product is, this is the sign that was found and it was sold online by a sign dealer. This sign right here, you showing this one? This sign right here. Uh, has the oxidation and it's uh, the uh, harsh environments, the oxidation. Now with one application, this is it, the juice. What are, I'm going to start right here and show you. We're going to talk about it right here. What the product does, guys, is the product. This is it, the juice. You put it onto a 4-0 steel wool pad. Or you can put it on the sign. Now when you put the product on the pad, 
and you wipe it into the uh, surface. Now there's lots of, uh, we have a lot, tons of uh, posts with the videos of this actual sign being done. This actual sign being done is in our posts. This sign being done is uh, in our posts. That Coca-Cola sign, these are all signs that I bought from dealers that are signed dealers that until now they had no choice but to sell it as a patina sign. So you put the product onto the steel wool, this is it, the juice, and you simply keep it wet. You wipe it into the grain, you wipe it into the uh, surface, and you just lightly agitate it, keeping the surface area wet. That's what I did here, and if you see the demo for this, you'll see. We wipe it in, keep it wet, dab it, get it wet. This one took, oh, this took about an uh, hour for that to start, to actually soak into the, uh, into the enamel, into the porcelain surface. And once it comes in, what our product does, this is the difference between our product and this is how we solve the problem of juicing. This juice now is gonna clear the hazing. It clears the hazing. This is clear glass, what they refer to this glass in the bottle industry for digging bottles. This is sick glass. Well, what the juice does is it soaks in it clears the hazing, all right? It cleans the hazing off. It clears the hazing away. It's not covering up anything. Because if you juice a sign with all the other nonsense, you simply wipe it on, you get it all slick, you booger it up, you wipe it off a little, and there's your shiny sign. This is a little more of a process. It soaks through, it clears the hazing, and it reveals the day one color. This is underneath this hazing. Now we can see the original color because we've cleared the hazing away. That's never coming back. That is cured. That problem is not coming back. The only way it'll come back is if this uh, sign got tossed into a basement and it had all the uh, harsh environments of 30 years for that to rehaze over. That hazing isn't covered up. It's not coming back. It's been cured. So now we say that uh, you uh, work this in with the steel wool and you let it get let it take whatever it wants to soak in and that color is going to come back bold and beautiful original color we're not we're not adding color we're not in painting we're not doing anything like that this is preservation for the sign now once you get all the color and it's nice and wet and this thing's all wet with the juice you get a wiping cloth the wiping cloth is a cloth that I use I keep it in a Ziploc bag and it's the first step after clearing the haze you get a wiping cloth and you wipe off the excess you simply wipe off the excess you want to wipe it off clear away any of the juice that's remaining you wipe it off and when you wipe off that excess the next thing we say that it's going to reveal the day one gloss or not this sign, when you feel the surface of the sign, it's smooth, 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 the surface. This sign, smooth as can be. It's, it's very hazed over. It's got all the uh, harsh environment of time has created the hazing, but it's very smooth, okay? So we've cleared the hazing. The Coca-Cola sign, not as shiny. You see the difference? That's more of a satin shine. If the finish of the sign is a little more on the rough side, you will reveal like the Coke sign, a satin sheen. If the surface is smooth like this, you buff this off, you wipe this off, you buff it, you get, create a little heat, just get this thing all nice and buffed out, and you won't believe your eyes. That shine, that day one gloss, we restored the day one color, and now we restore the day one gloss. You watch my demos, what we did, how we did this is all on our demos. This was two years ago. I haven't done anything but what I'm doing right now to that surface. Now, you've restored the day one color. Now we've restored the day one gloss. There it is, guys. This is two years old. That's been done for two years. That's not coming back. That's not coming back. This is not covered up by some slicked up juice. This is not slick juice, okay? That thing right there is preserved and for the future, for more people to enjoy it. It's not overspray. We address that in our video. It's not overspray. It's not juicing. It's this is it, the juice. It's a one-time application that has 
permanent results. Your results that you get are permanently brought back, okay? It's not a cover-up. It's not uh, a slicked up shine. Now we're gonna bring out the day one gloss. This thing, look at the gloss guys. Can you see the, can you see it? Can you see the gloss on that? Day one gloss. That's not some greasy trick. That's not some slimy stuff. This is, I did this one a year ago. And there it is, that's permanently done. That's never gonna come back. It's not gonna evaporate. It's a permanent result that's done. Now with this one here, the Coke sign, I did this. We cleared the, cleared the hazing to reveal the beautiful day one color. Look at that color. I mean, the color is just immac immaculate. Now the surface on this particular sign is a little bit on the rougher side. So when we buff it off, when we buff it, we're gonna have more of a satin shine. This is permanent. What you have now is you have the day one color of this sign you have the more of a satin sheen that that sign had in it. There's no glossy, greasy, slimy, false shine here. This is permanent. So when that guy, the next guy that gets this sign, when he sees that, that's what he gets. This is what he hangs in his collection, is that sign. Not some greasy misfit that's gonna be a turd that he would've never bought. Look at the power loop. And how many bottles can you do? How many signs like that can you do with a bottle of juice? 50 bucks, 50 of these signs, this size. It doesn't take hardly any product. You just let the juice do the work, you leave it to soak, and that's the results you get. And I don't know, there's no, uh, this is a product that I brought to market, that I developed, that I'm happy to bring to the sign market, okay? This isn't some shyster product like everyone's making, not everyone, like many have made it out to be. They don't want juice on their signs. Well, I'll tell you what, that end result there is a sign that any sign guy would be proud to hang in his collection. Now, I've taken this product and developed it. I could have kept this product a secret, and I could have just bought every faded sign in the country, and I could have bought it, and I could have taken the hour and a half to do this to this sign, I could have taken the time to do that. I could have put it in an auction somewhere and not one person would ever doubt that sign wasn't an original, perfect day one gloss sign. I could have done that. I decided that's not what I wanted to do. I brought the product to the sign hobby. I'm a sign guy. I brought the product for other sign guys, for all you sign guys. And here's a product you should be proud to hang that in your collection. And that's not fading, it's not gonna come off, it's not covering anything up. We've cleared the hazing to reveal the original day one color, and now we've taken the finish and we've revealed that sign's ability. If this sign has a day one gloss left in it, we're gonna reveal the day one gloss. And that's permanent, dust won't stick to that. That's a one-time application. I don't know what to tell you, there's a lot of people with discrepancies over the product. This is it, the juice. Um, they have all these newfangled things like the tape test about the juice. Well, I got something to tell you about that, too. But anyway, we'll do that in a minute. Here's the product. This is a beautiful end result that any guy, I sold this to lots of guys before I got it to market who swear by this product. They have million dollar collections and they use it on their signs for maintenance. And they absolutely have nothing but great things to say. You do your sign, you do your signs with this product as a polish. You do it once a year, if that. But we'll be back. I'll continue on with the next bit of information for you. This is an informational piece here. Any of the signs you want to uh, see the demos of when they were done, go to many of our posts and you'll see all that. Next, here we are with this is a painted sign here, guys. Now I did this one maybe three months ago. Now this was a uh, real dry, chalky. This was chalky, this uh, no trespassing. The orange lettering was very chalky. This is a tin sign, it's embossed. But three months later, the uh, surface is smooth as can be. It has a great sheen to it because it's a smooth surface. And like I said, if it's a smooth surface, it will shine day one gloss. So here we go, and then um, the uh, dryness is, seems to have been like taken care of there. So preservation at its finest. That sign has looked like that for three months. So that's a tin sign, and that is one that I'm proud of, that I like. 
and 